All right, everybody. In this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to print command line arguments to the screen. And to do that, we're going to, or we're going to use our variables over here. And we're going to display the number of parameters to the screen, and as well as the actual parameters. And parameters are a set of commands or data that you pass to your program. For example, if we were to come over to the pro uh, console and say, run our program, we can pass it strings like x, y, 10, 20, or flags if we want. Things like that. Those are the command line arguments passed to our program. So we're going to see how to get uh, print out the number of parameters we or pass to our program as well as print out the individual x, y, 120, 430, and so on and so on. Alright, so now we have to of course use our, the, our stack frame to be able to uh, make references to the parameters passed onto our program and also as well as the local pra local variables we declare. And if you remember, we talked about the stack in detail in my previous videos, um, but real quick, the stack looks like this, where you have a positive offset of 4, making references to parameters. So the first one is plus 8, the second one is plus 12, and so if we come over here, we will see that here, EBP plus 8 is pointing to the command line arguments of the number of uh, parameters passed to a program, as well as um, EBP plus 12 pointing to the address that contains all the strings that were passed to our program. Okay, so I should mention that I moved the value of 0 into the register CX register, which is the counter register. And I'm, and I'm doing this because we're going to be using a loop to display all the parameters passed to our program because it can get very tedious to have to repeat the same instructions over and over again so using a loop makes it more efficient so we write less code and do more things and this is the structure of our loop uh, and here is going to be the body of our loop so I made a label for the loop and this of course labels are memory addresses and I'm going to say I'm going to compare the counter register of zero compared to the number of parameters here. In this case, we're going to be passing five parameters. And we're going to compare those two values. And if it's not equal, so in other words, if 0 is not equal to 5, it'll jump here. And then we'll just keep increasing the value of the counter register inside of the loop so that each time it adds 1 to it each time. All right. so of course this is the body of our loop prior to calling external functions or even calling your own functions it's a good habit to get into by preserving the registers that you're depending on uh, because we're depending on the BX register holding the address of our uh, list of parameters and because we're depending on the AX register holding the number of parameters passed to a program, and because we're use counting on the CX register as being the counter for a loop, we want to make sure that we preserve those values on the stack before calling external functions because the printf function will modify some of these registers. And to cover ourselves, we want to push these values on the stack and then call the printf function and then when the printf function is done we want to pop the stack back into the registers but notice how we're popping it in reverse order and then we can go ahead and call the printf function all right so here we're calling the printf sta statement with the address contained uh, inside of the bx register and then now we're going to be pr uh, displaying the message argument printf and we're calling the printf function. Now this is something new that I haven't been doing in my previous videos. We're adding 8 to the stack pointer and as you know the stack goes down towards memory. It's constantly going down so to clean up the stack you need to add 8 to bring it back up towards positive memory. And so this is important because had we, if we don't have this statement right here, 
this will not this program will not run correctly because the stack would be corrupted for example here I'm pushing four bytes and here I'm pushing four bytes so in total I pushed eight bytes and so therefore I need to add eight to stack pointer to clean it up so the last thing we want to do is now to increase our counter by one after we have re restored the values pushed onto the, onto the stack after we restore the values we want to increase them by one and as well as increase the address that contains our list of parameters by four so we move to the next one and so after that we can go ahead and compile a program uh, first of all uh, let's go ahead and display what my script looks like to compile this program so this is the beginning and it comes down over here after it's compiled successfully we go ahead and uh, call our program and we pass it argument 1, 2, 3, and 4 but as well, uh, but there's actually 5 because the program name is included so this is what's going to be displayed to the screen so let's go ahead and compile and run it so as you can see we compile and run our program and this was the result. The program name is displayed as the first one. Then we print out argument 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then the program terminates. So that's how we display command line arguments to the screen. Please rate and subscribe. Thank you.